Hi, Leo. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm getting the word university. So if somebody wants to go back to school, that's a good idea. You may get accepted to a university or your child will, or it's time to learn something new, study, gain more knowledge. All right, what is going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, yeah, you'll be very successful. Let's do one more for that, because I see going with the flow under the deck. Let me, what else? Leo, success. Something will be successful. Oh, your dreams, your manifesting dreams. So some of you, I'm getting, you want to go back to school. If you want to work less, or you want to switch careers or jobs, or um, you want to manifest your dreams. Somebody wants to own their own business. I get like a, a beauty st store somewhere where you do like uh, facials or eyebrows or things like that, or a tanning salon, or maybe you want to start some other kind of business, a cafe. But I'm definitely seeing that what you're doing now is not making you happy. And that's why I got like, university needing to they're saying start from scratch start over for some of you it's like a lot all at once it's coming in so it's like however that manifests for you you're unhappy with the path what you're doing for a living or how you spend your days is what i'm getting okay knight of cups oh Leo, you're in somebody's energy. They're thinking about you right now. The wheel is turning. I see you can't see that, so I'll move everybody around. But you, you're in someone's energy. There's a king of swords and how they feel. Someone could be keeping something to themselves, possibly. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see. Someone may reveal something. They may reveal some feelings for you. I'm getting for someone also, maybe you will be in a relationship and your whole, what you do every day, your whole world may be changing for the next six months. That's kind of what I'm getting. I think that's why they show me like such a drastic change was what I got, what I got when I first started your reading. There could be a relationship where someone is fighting the feelings, fighting being in this relationship for whatever reason. I feel like they are falling in love with you with the two of cups as well. It could be dating three of cups. I don't think it's necessarily third party at this point. Point, but it could be for someone but I kind of feel like they're just trying to keep it low-key but yet they're catching feelings with the two of cups showing up there and because you're in their energy it means they're thinking about you right now justice the four of cups and the eight of swords they want to go out with you somebody wants to take you out Leo someone has feelings for you but they're holding back they're fighting the feelings they're trying to keep it casual they're saying, I don't want commitment. I don't want to move this forward. They may be a Libra specifically for someone, but I think they're going to crack as I'm getting. Taking you out the tower, the king of coins. Hmm. Almost kind of feels like this person might reveal too much too soon, or they might be reveal something on a date. This person could have a lot of money. Maybe they didn't want you to know that. Maybe this person is afraid of gold diggers. Maybe, not that you are, but you know. That may be kind of, it's like they keep things hidden. They don't share a lot, but when they do open up, you have this, you know, king of coin energy who's actually very nurturing, very caring. Maybe they want to get married also, because, you know, I'm kind of getting like this whole eight of swords bit. I don't want commitment. I'm a fear of commitment. It's almost kind of fake. It's phony. And then, yeah, sure enough, I got this king of coins showing up here who can be the family man or woman. Something's going to change in Again, something may come out about them that you weren't really expecting, like who they really are, their personality, their money, their wealth, where they they live or something. Lovers, can't pick them up. This person retreats. This person gives and then they pull back. They show a little bit, then they come, they pull back in and it frustrates you, frustrate anybody. Lovers is probably a romantic moment or time you guys spent together. For some reason, I'm getting like a hotel here at that tower. I don't know why. I'm going to a very expensive hotel and staying there. But um, getting a peek into this person's world. They're very private. They don't like to share a lot or open up. It could be their personality or there could be other reasons such as wealth or something. But what is the world? I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to say what's on my mind. It's a little creepy, and I do have to, I am going to say that because on one hand, they could walk away. On the other hand, they could kind of stalk you. 
they could say something. Maybe they're going to talk to you, but it's the page of swords. So it's kind of, so I would have rather had the page of coin, whether they're an earth sign or not, but it's just kind of like, so this could also mean this is your decision. The ball is in your court. Okay, so the wheel's going to turn, though, so that's good. Things aren't at a standstill. They're, it's going to change, and you're going to find something out. So here we have you and their energy. They're thinking about you. Eight of Swords, please. Eight of Swords. Listening to their intuition. I don't think they want to let you go. I don't think they want you to get away. I think there's too, too many emotions here in play on their side. The hangman's in what you don't see, so that makes sense. Because I do feel like this is stopped right now. What is this four of coins? Page of wands, code communication. Let's go back to the king of coins and clarify this person. They want the ten of cups. So again, not the gender, <clears throat> excuse me, not the sign. The king of coin person wants the, the family. They want the home. Um, they want to take a chance on love is kind of what I'm getting. But they're still kind of on the fence because the two of wands, on one hand, they could walk away and do nothing. On the other hand, they could communicate, but, but still even that communication is still, because I have the hermit under the deck when I pull that, it's like they are, your person's on the fence. I feel like they think about you a lot right now. What would they say to you though? What would they actually say? I struggle with love and expressing it. It doesn't come easy for me. So your person would rather, I won't say run, but they'd rather go the other way. And I've seen this in personal readings where people really have, a, they just can't, they just can't. They can be in love with someone. It'll show up as two of cups, but they'll go the other way and they will never speak to them or see them again. They can, they can I guess, compartmentalize. They can shut it down. Some people ask me like why they don't understand that and I get it, but they do. The people can walk away from love. So this person's on the fence about what they want to say to you and if they really want to progress this connection forward. Um, I should have listened to my intuition, see? Oh, so maybe they went and fell in love, like that song says. But because it's like this person was good in a bubble. They were good with not having love. They were good with, you know, being okay with not wanting commitment. Then here they went and fell in love is what I'm getting. They went and did something with you. And now, that, now that's all they think about. What else would they say? I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still so beautiful to me. And they do feel ashamed for how they treated you. You didn't deserve that. That's this energy here, putting you on hold, putting on pause, giving and then taking back, holding back, um, you know, after they, you know, express something. I feel also possibly for someone, not all of you, somebody, this person got a little tipsy around you, got a little too much drink in them and they revealed like they would like to have a family and they would like to, you know, have a home and have like the quote normal, put them quotes, so it's not normal, but the lifestyle of like a family and a picket fence and like they would like to do things that way but they i'm seeing this person maybe someone who works a lot travels a lot and maybe is a playboy playgirl possibly it doesn't really show in the reading but i mean that's probably you know how they live their life part of me died when i let you go hmm. so i keep hearing that song fooled around and fell in love or something i don't really know who sang that i think everyone knows about that song knows that song Anyways, what does Leo need to know? What is this person going to do? Can we see an outcome spirit or is there advice? Oh, temperance, balancing emotions, waiting. This card doesn't show me cold shoulder energy. Like this one right here does. Like this one, this person's taking their time and kind of giving the cold shoulder where they think this through. Can we have another piece of advice, please, spirit? The moon, unknowns. Seven of Cups, thinking things through, and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands could be coming or going, but I feel like he could be coming towards you. I don't read this Knight of Wands necessarily as a player. So it's up in the air. See, Spirit really didn't give you an answer because he's coming towards you, and he's looking right at you, but what is he going to say? Let's go to this deck. This deck a lot of times reveals things. What is going on? Thank you. The moon and the de uh, death card fell out. I was going to say devil. The moon and the death card fell out. This person wants to end this with you because the emotions are, are high risk is what they're telling me. 
They don't want to be in this position, but they don't want to let you go. It may not be really be over. Yes, it could be Scorpio or Pisces, but... So can I tell you something, the truth, what I'm seeing in this reading? This person is leaning toward cutting this off with you. This is like risky. Even though they are, they have feelings for you, they would rather just run the other way. And obviously, I don't, I shouldn't have to say that, I will, but this, obviously this is, could be a woman, this could be a girl as well. Um, do the same thing. I know it shows kind of like gender specific. This is a man doing this running, but this could be, if you're dealing with a female, definitely they are afraid of this connection and being hurt. Actually, maybe being hurt because that's actually not showing up. I'm just assuming that's why people don't get in a connection. There could be a lot of reasons why they don't want to. There may be an upcoming party though. There may be an upcoming gathering. The garden shows to me like a party, a restaurant, getting together in big groups. Doesn't have to be something that was planned. It could be something that just happens. Um, and the sun, it could be during the day. It could be coming up here in the next week or so or something. It may be springtime for some of you, but I'm not gonna really, that's just kind of remind me of sun and things blooming here where I'm at in California. But this kind of reminds me of um, running into somebody at a restaurant having a conversation with this person. See how this? these two are bleak? These two are happy. Things are coming back to life. Things that were dead are growing. So that's why I'm getting like winter, spring, or summer. There will be some sort of change in this connection. There could be a run-in with this person, but that's not gonna be very helpful. So let's see, let's find out something else. This person, man, he's a friend. secrets I'm getting a couple things here for somebody you have a male friend or friend of this person who knows that what's going on and may have some something to tell you will have will be a go-between for the two of you will give you an answer or help you out in some way give you tell you something about this person and what they're doing okay that won't apply for all of you because that person is somebody else it's a friend this for others of you this person may have a dog specifically this means friend but using this deck but they may actually have a dog, be out walking their dog, be at dog park, be somewhere where there's a lot of people, um, possibly for some one person, but you may run into them. This person may come back around in the springtime. I know that's a long time to wait, but I would keep living your life, keep moving forward, dating other people. That's just, this is a peek into what they're doing, why they're acting the way they're acting. But um, the ring is about a commitment. The lilies can mean contentment, love, it can mean someone who's older, can be passion. The lilies actually has quite a different few uh, meanings, but most of them are good. Passionate connection, the king of, I'm sorry, why am I saying king? The man, spirit is telling me yeah, to wait. That I got was getting in my mind. You're going to have to wait and keep pursuing your dreams, manifesting your dreams. This could come around in spring, but in the meantime, you need to focus on yourself and what you are doing with your life and not the situation. Some of you may be at a crossroads. This may be a time to make a decision for you. Don't wait around for this person. If you wanted to move, start a new business, go for it. Do those things because they will be successful. Uh, this person, I'm getting like on the back burner. So I know it's not what, when you, what some of you want to hear, but it's what's coming through specifically. I'm getting the name like Roy, R-O-Y, Roy. I have a hard time saying my R's, R, Roy. Could be like a Lee Roy. They may go by the name Roy. Could be someone's dog too. I don't know why. It might, I don't know if didn't name their dog that. But as far as money, yeah, maybe time to move or make a change as well. But this person is thinking about you. So it's kind of like, to me, it's like I, as a Scorpio, I don't know if it's a Scorpio thing or just wanting an answer thing. I kind of want to know, I think you can't bring this back to life right now. I think you need to let it blossom on its own terms and own time. What else do you guys need to know as far as other messages for the year? Let me see what else shows up. You may have other messages come through too, Leo. Coming through for Leo. 
The wheel is turning. Things are moving, though they don't feel like it. The Knight of Cups, this person could be coming towards you with some sort of answer or communication with the Knight of Coins. So each deck, to me, talks a little differently. I feel, let's do timing, because I do feel like with all these decks, this is coming back to life. That's, that's the yes, no deck. Let's do the timing deck. What is the timing, hang on. What does the timing deck say? What does the timing deck say? A few weeks. Yeah, this could happen in mid-January, end of January. This person, for some of you, is coming back around. This is coming back to life. You don't really have to wait that long. Here in California, spring is, you know, we get spring pretty early, so I'm not surprised to see that. When I see like this, I know it's different others everywhere else, but like this to this, there could be a chance run-in. There could be something... I'm getting for some of you, if you pursue your own dreams and keep moving forward, this will take care of itself the way it's supposed to work out. If you're chasing this or waiting for this, it won't work. But as a Leo, I don't get like you guys really do that. I get you guys are pretty, you know, pursue your own goals. What does spirit have to say about this person or connection? What does spirit have to say? Yes, no, somewhere in between. There we go. You're overthinking, yeah. Even you know what? Even I am with this reading. It's like it's kind of going on. I feel like I am overthinking this too. It's like I want a specific answer right now. It says you are overthinking. Journal the extra thoughts, and you will find your answer within the words. I love it. So I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.